The Battle of Sahat was fought on April 24, 1541 between the army of Emperor Jalordus and the forces of Garid Emar, a lieutenant of Imam Ahmad ibn Ibrahim al-Ghazi. According to Ethiopian sources, Jalordus was defeated. Jalordus succeeded to the throne soon after his father's death on 2 September 1540. Despite his youth, over the next few months he made several successful attacks on the Somali garrisons in northern Ethiopia. These lifted the morale of the rest of Christian Ethiopians, and upon arriving in Semyon, he was surrounded by the apostates and others who had joined the imam who sought his clemency. Soon after the young emperor crossed the Tekeze to observe Easter in Saad, Gara Dmar, Ahmad Grand's governor of Gans, assumed that Galorji's lieutenants would be away at their homes to celebrate the holiday. So picked this day to strike. According to Bruce, these plans were quickly communicated to Jalorjus, who was able to prepare his own response. According to Bruce, when Gara Dmar approached Saad, he fell into an ambush Jalorjus had prepared, and the governor's army was destroyed. However, Ethiopian chronicles state that Jalordus was defeated at Sahat. Regardless of the outcome, Jalordus retired back over the Takazi. Although traditional account is that Jalordus retreated as far south as Shewa, cf. Beckingham has produced evidence showing that the Ethiopian emperor fled far to the south, over the Abay River into Gojam. Then back over the Abbey to eventually reach Jindabret, lying south of the most southerly reaches of the Blue Nile, sometime after 26 May.